Hey, what's up? Live Bolt Show here. Today we are going to discuss the 2002 TV film. It's a very merry Muppet Christmas movie. It's 90 minutes long. It came out on NBC, which is a universal property. This is an interesting film because the Muppets didn't have a home at this present moment. Um, they bounced from network to network. They did movies with this production company, with that production company, but they never had a home until Disney purchased the Muppets, did nothing with them for many, many years. And then eventually, you know, the Muppets and then the Muppets Most Wanted came out. And then we had Muppets Now on Disney+. Plus. We have uh, The Muppet Show is on Disney+, Plus in its entirety, minus a few episodes for copyright purposes. But then we just had uh, Muppet Haunted Mansion. So the Muppets are coming back. So the 2002 film, it's a very merry Muppet Christmas movie, was before the 05 uh, Muppets Wizard of Oz, which was before 08's Muppets Letters to Santa or something like that, which is a Disney film, and that's currently on Disney+, Plus, and that's the next one we're going to talk about. So, I love my Muppets, I love my Kermit, Gonzo's my favorite, uh, Animal's my favorite. Um, him banging the drums going, drummer boy, drummer boy, hysterical. But, um... This is cool because it's it's a Muppet movie. Like, it's it's very Muppet. So this came out in 02, right? So in 2001, there was Moulin Rouge. There was How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And those were featured heavily in this. This film is primarily a uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Kermit wishes he wasn't born. So um, David Arquette is playing this angel uh, whose boss, God, is Whoopi Goldberg. Hysterical. And he's trying to make Kermit see that, you know, the hard times are okay because he has his friends and family and, you know, Christmas is going to be all right. Things like that. So Joan Cusack plays Miss Spinnerman, who's this evil banker who's taking over the lease of the Muppet Theater before Pepe sleuths his way in into, you know, gaining a deed from the city to declare the Muppet Theater a historical landmark. So what I really love about this film is that it takes place in the Muppet Theater, like the backstage, like the classic backstage, the classic theater, the classic outside of the theater. But like, it's a, it's a, it's a joint film. And I say that because you have characters from the 70s, you have characters from the 80s, you have characters from the 90s, Muppet characters introduced in the different decades, culminating for this Christmas party, and it was smart. I didn't appreciate this back when I was 12. I was 12 in 02 when this came out. December 20, 2002 was when this movie aired. I didn't appreciate it. I honestly didn't like it when I first saw it. I mean, I liked it because it was a Muppet movie, but I didn't love it. But now that I'm old and I've seen it, again, I haven't seen this in a long, long time. I love this movie. It is so depressing, but it shows that not every aspect of Christmas is holly and jolly. That there are some depressing moments um, that people are trying to deal with. So, to be mindful of that. And I thought it was really smart. I, I, I... I never, I never appreciated this movie for what it actually is, and I really, really like this movie. Really like this movie. I like the ending. They're all singing, Everyone Matters. I, it's just cute. It's a Muppet film. It's cute. And, uh, yeah, I'm really glad I, I saw this now as an old person because I have way more life experience than I did when I was 12 years old compared to now when I'm 31 years old. Can you imagine? This was, this was almost 20 years ago. Oh, my God, it was literally 19 years ago. I am ancient. Let's see, 12 years old, I was... What? I was in 7th grade, December... December 2002, I was in 7th grade. So middle school. I was a middle schooler. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to this stuff then. Now I did. On to the next review. Uchi mahalo.